Hi guys, thank you for being with me again. Dalam video ini, kita akan belajar topik baru, verbs atau kata kerja. Verbs atau kata kerja berfungsi menerangkan apa yang dibuat oleh subjek dalam sesuatu ayat. Verbs are action words describing what the subject is doing. Along with nouns, verbs form the most important part of a phrase or sentence. It is almost impossible to describe a story or anything in any language without using verbs actually. Walaupun dalam sesuatu yang paling ringkas, kita perlu menggunakan kata kerja dalam apa bahasa sekalipun untuk menerangkan atau menyampaikan sesuatu idea atau apa yang ada dalam fikiran kita. Actually, we can even say something meaningful with just a verb. For example, jump or sit or run. It is understood that if you are talking to someone, you meant for him to run and you do not have to say you run. Di sini kita hanya perlu menggunakan satu perkataan, kata kerja yang juga ayat perintah untuk mengatakan sesuatu yang bermakna dan betul dari sudut nahu. In the simplest sentence, you only need two words, a noun and a verb to say something meaningful. For example, city sings. You have a noun and a verb for the sentence to make sense. Sebagai pengenalan, kita akan belajar empat topik tentang verbs. Pertama, state ataupun stative verbs, action atau dynamic verbs. Yang kedua, dan kita akan belajar ini dalam unit hadapan, main and auxiliary verbs. Yang ketiga, regular and irregular verbs. Dan yang keempat, transitive dan intransitive verbs. Let's look at state verbs and action verbs. State menunjukkan sesuatu keadaan, or possession ataupun kepunyaan. Dan action menunjukkan sesuatu perbuatan atau physical actions. Sometimes also called stative and dynamic verbs respectively. Contoh action verbs seperti write, eat, drink, talk, shout, etc. Examples of state verbs are words like be, think, like and own that describes a situation instead of physical actions. Let's look at some example verbs in sentences. For example, I can say something like this. I have a happy family. Ahmad likes pizza. In both examples, the verbs have and like are not doing verbs. There are no physical actions. They just describe a situation of having a family and liking ice cream. Tiada perbuatan di sana. Hanya menerangkan suatu keadaan. I have a happy family di mana subjek I tidak melakukan apa-apa perbuatan. Hanya menerangkan subjek mempunyai keluarga bahagia. Begitu juga dalam ayat kedua. Subjek Ahmad tidak melakukan sesuatu perbuatan sebab perkataan like hanya menerangkan sesuatu keadaan. Sebab itu like adalah satu verb atau kata kerja dalam kategori stative verbs. Although there are no physical action, it's still a verb. Now let's look at another category of verbs. Action verbs. Action verbs are words of real physical actions like play, eat, run, jump, write, etc. Dalam lain arti kata, play, eat, run, jump, dan write adalah perkataan yang menerangkan perlakuan subjek yang boleh kita lihat. Let's look at some examples of how these verbs are used in sentences. Number one, Ali plays soccer every week. Di sini, plays adalah kata kerja atau verb kerana ia menerangkan perbuatan yang dilakukan oleh Ali. Let's look at another sentence. John ate a lot of durians last week. Similarly, in this sentence, the action word is ate. It's the verb that describes what John did. So, one way to identify a verb is also to ask what does the subject do in the sentence. In this case, if we ask what did John do, The answer is John ate. Therefore, ate is a verb. Kenapa penting kita mengenali mana state verb dan mana action verb? Sebenarnya ia sangat penting. Kerana ada satu peraturan dalam English grammar yang mengatakan kita hanya boleh menggunakan penambahan ing dalam continuous tense. Hanya pada action verb. Sebagai contoh, cook menjadi cooking. Drink menjadi drinking. Write dalam continuous tense menjadi writing dan sebagainya. Kita tidak boleh menggunakan form ing pada stative verbs. Sebagai contoh, kesalahan yang selalu dibuat oleh pelajar adalah 
I am having a happy family. Yang sepatutnya, I have a happy family. Atau, Ahmad is liking pizza. Sepatutnya, Ahmad likes pizza. Let's look at five other examples. Number one, I am loving my mother. That's wrong. The right sentence should be, I love my mother. Number two, he is believing in God. Is wrong grammatically. The correct sentence is, he believes in God. Next example, she's been knowing me for five years. Sepatutnya, she's known me for five years. Another example is, he is having three brothers. Should be changed to, he has three brothers. And lastly, I'm understanding this problem. It's also wrong. And should be changed to, I understand this problem. This is because, in all the five sentences, the verbs used are stative verbs. And as I mentioned, stative verbs cannot take ing form. Kalau kita tengok love, believe, know, have, dan understand adalah kesemuanya stative verbs. Iaitu kata kerja yang tidak melakukan atau tidak merujuk kepada sesuatu perbuatan secara fizikal. Saya harap video ini telah menerangkan apa itu verbs dan beza antara stative dan state verbs atau action or dynamic verbs. See you again in my next video about other topics on verbs and if you find this video useful, please leave your comments or questions, press the like and share and subscribe buttons. Thank you for watching and see you again.